Pro Football Weekly has put together a list of the top breakthrough players for each division. It's currently at ProFootballWeekly.com, and we want to take those guys and see just what would constitute a breakout year for them. We're in the AFC East, starting with the New York Jets. And a guy that maybe could have been on this list last year, Sean Green. We started to see him break out two years ago, but last year, a disappointment. What would it take this year for him to really reach that status? I think the ceiling is pretty high for Green. I mean, I think there's no question Rex Ryan wants him to break out and be the lead guy, LT in more of a complimentary role. I'm saying 1,400 yards. He's capable of it. I think no more than two or three fumbles. That's an issue we started to see the first couple years. He's got to become a little bit better receiver, be a perfect fit in that offense. We saw, I mean, I, I think he was a, a kind of a buzz fantasy yeah. guy last year and just kind of disappointed, I know, because I had him. <laughs> but this year, if he takes over from LT, I think that's what you're looking for. Now, another guy on the list, a veteran, Roscoe Parrish from the Buffalo Bills. Not sure that he's going to suddenly become a Pro Bowl receiver, but still could use an improvement and see, start seeing some serious catches. Well, we know how good that offense could be. When it clicks, when it fires on all cylinders, I think the Bills can throw the ball almost as well as any team out there. If you see him in the slot catching 50, 60 passes, playing 16 games because he's never been healthy for a full year, and is another factor on punt returns, I think that would constitute a breakout season. We're not talking Brandon Lloyd here, right? but a guy who could make his, his biggest impact in year seven or eight. And maybe still helping out in the return game would yep. be a huge. Next up is the Dolphins cornerback Sean Smith. Started to come on the scene a little bit. We heard his name last year. Now he really needs to take that next step. He's a big physical press cornerback. I think he's got to make more plays, more interceptions. Kind of what he did his rookie year, took a step backwards last season, and he's got to be the guy who shuts down opponents' number one receivers. That could put him in the Pro Bowl and put him in that elite category of cornerbacks. We saw the Dolphins' defense played really well last year. Could become a dominant unit if he steps up. And the Patriots' Patrick Chung, versatile guy, made some big plays on special teams and defense, but really, he needs to take that leap to Pro Bowl status. I think he does that by becoming that Rodney Harrison-like enforcer, that big physical hitter, huge special teamer in college. That's why they liked him and drafted him. I think he could be the captain of that young defense, and if we see improvements on third down with the Patriots, Patrick Chung could be in the Pro Bowl, not Brandon Merriweather. That's the list of the top breakthrough guys from the AFC East. For the full article, check it out at ProFootballWeekly.com.